Hello and welcome to Electronics for Absolute Beginners. In this video we'll look at how to use wind power to generate an electric current to illuminate an LED. So what parts do we need? Well, we need a breadboard, a terminal block, a 470 ohm resistor, an LED, a jumper wire, a small DC motor and a fan blade. So here is the circuit. It's very basic as you can see. Notice that I've connected the resistor and the LED to the negative wire coming from the motor. If this circuit doesn't work for you, try connecting the resistor and the LED to the positive wire from the motor. The polarity of DC motors isn't as rigid as it is for a battery. And it may be that for your DC motor, you have to connect the resistor and the LED to the other wire. And here's the circuit shown on a breadboard. Exactly how much voltage and current the DC motor can generate depends on the motor itself and how quickly you can rotate the motor spindle, i.e. how quickly you can get the fan to rotate when you blow directly at it. With my circuit, I managed to get the motor to generate a maximum of 9 volts and a current of 90 milliamps, albeit just for a split second. The reason I chose a 470 ohm resistor is because an LED only requires about 20 milliamps of current and being as the motor can generate up to 9 volts, a 470 ohm resistor will provide sufficient protection. I discuss Ohm's law at length in one of my other videos that explains how to build a simple LED circuit, so I won't repeat that information here. So here's the circuit in action. You can hear me huffing and puffing blown as hard as I can trying to get the fan blade to rotate to generate an electric current and some voltage. So that's it. Thanks very much for watching and uh, be sure to check out my other videos. Thank you. Bye.